So, talking about Twitter uh, tonight, because Becca is my, uh, uh, well, our internal Twitter spectacular uh, know-it-all. You know a lot about Twitter. and I've, I've only been using it two months, so... That's the funny thing. She's been using I it I know more months, than him, did. perhaps, yes. but I'm still a newbie. But you, you do pretty well. You, you get new followers every day. You're yeah. beating my butt in Twitter followers. I need to know this stuff. I've been really kind of behind the ball on social networking and stuff because I just don't have... I think what I like about Twitter is that I don't need to have a whole lot of time to participate in Twitter. I know Carrie had an issue with blogging being a bit of a time consumer. So this is micro blogging. Micro, yeah. So where you don't have to come up with topics, you can just post a quick, you know, here's what I'm thinking right now, uh, and you've only got 140 characters to do so. Not 140 words, 140 letters, including your spaces. So And punctuation. And punctuation. Yeah. <laughs> so that you don't have a lot of room to say anything. All right. Uh, so Twitter, I'm looking, I mean, my Twitter profile, if, you, if you're not familiar with Twitter, I mean, Becca, how would you summarize what Twitter is? Okay, you said it's a good way to advertise, but what about the average person? Well, it's microblogging. It's, um, it's very much like a chat, like going to a chat room in the olden days, except um, instead of just messages flooding and flooding your screen because there's 100 people. Well, it does do that if, you have, if you're following a lot of people. If you're following Will Wheaton. If you if you use <laughs> yeah if you use programs like Seismic or TweetDeck, then you can organize it so that you can see your at replies in one column, and your private messages in one column, and then all the messages in a third column. Whereas in a chat room, it's just all there, in front of you. You can't mm -hmm. divide it up. So then that way you can focus on just the people that you're actually having a conversation with. So you only see their responses in your at replies or your private messages. So, so it's like it's out, like yeah. a chat room where you just you start having conversations with people about common interests and um, you meet a lot of people I find too that have common yeah I've, interests. I've met a lot of people because yeah. if I say something that sparks interest and then I click on that keyword and then it shows me everyone else who's talking about that same interest then all of a yeah. sudden I start following yeah. other people it's a good way to research too because Very. if you're trying to find information on something you can type like does anyone else have experience with this topic matter mm -hmm. um, do you know anything about this or even just Searching for keywords, you can find like loads and loads of articles and blobs on that set. Blobs, <laughs> <laughs> blogs, <laughs> blogs on See, that gonna, subject matter. I'm gonna try something. Like I'm just gonna say in Twitter here, um, just to see what I what I can like because people will follow me if I say something that is of interest, right? So if I say uh, you know Ubuntu and I'm using the hashtag Ubuntu, but you don't have next, to. Can I, but can I do that? Is that well, the best way? Say, if you typed in a sentence that included Ubuntu, yeah. then you wouldn't need to use a hashtag because it's going to show up when someone does a keyword search. But if, uh, if you said something that's about Ubuntu, but you didn't actually use the word in your sentence, then you might put it at the end of your sentence with the hashtag so that it still comes up in a search if someone searches specifically for Ubuntu. Otherwise, they might not know what you had to say because it just wouldn't show up in a search. So if I do, it, does that it does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Um, but but if they search for the a specific, if they clicked on the hashtag though, they wouldn't find you, would they? Like if I'm not sure. I don't know about that. I just know that if you search for keywords, it'll show up with or without in a, a hashtag. Search. Okay. So let's say, and and there's there's like using the explanation point for groups and things. So I'm still a very much a noob. But if if I say Ubuntu Linux is the best, I love how fun to use. Uh, <laughs> Great grammar. Trying to use good grammar. I'm like, okay, I love how much fun <laughs> it makes using. And notice the countdown on the top right there, 57. It, it counts down from 140. You're only allowed to type up to 140 yeah, characters. Yeah, and if you get into cool. the minus, it turns red with the minus Wicked. symbol so that you know how many characters you have to delete to make it short enough. And, and a lot try of not people. To be redundant. A lot of people use, well, really bad spelling to cut down on characters. Yeah. Like, um, well, basically just cutting out any letters in a word that you can get away with without obliterating the word. Like, um... Ruby Friggison. Like, <laughs> even, like even Linux, you could... Like, it, you wouldn't be something? able to use it as a key word anymore, but if you took right. out the I and the U and just put LNX, 
everyone's still going to know that that's Linux. And Ubuntu context. is the big one anyways when it comes yeah. to that search. So that would be a way to, to bring down the characters if you had written too much. If you wrote too much and it was pushing you over. Yeah, In this case, you just be creative finding ways to delete characters. And you can, and you can use the and symbol instead of writing A-N-D, things like sure, that that you're yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to post, let's make sure my grammar's good. Ubuntu Linux is the best. I love how much fun it makes using my computer. That sounds like... A <laughs> That's really cheesy. It's really cheesy. <laughs> but I want to know if I get followers for saying something like that. Because people might see that, that use Ubuntu Linux, and think, hey, this is cool, I'll follow this guy. And you want to get, yeah, you want to get target followers, because what good is anti-aging products to me? You know, yeah. those followers, I'm not going to follow them back because I have no need for anti-aging anti products. Right. If you go on Twitter and think, oh, I'd really like to talk to people about Linux right now, so then you would do a search for Linux. You see a whole bunch of people talking about it. Yeah, it'll bring up a page of everyone who has posted something that says, includes the word Linux in it. Mm -hmm. And then you can just quickly scan through them. And anytime you see something that interests you, you could start having a conversation with that person. Interesting. And then you can yeah. break it down into Fedora, Ubuntu, you know? Yeah, uh, really Solaris. get specific. You know, get yeah. into all these different builds and distributions, not even Linux. You can get into stuff like FreeBSD and Solaris. And so all of a sudden, you're, talk you're talking with all these people, connecting with them add them, follow them, and then all of a sudden you're getting their, their messages in your home as well. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Technology <laughs> brings people together, people. But Twitter is the new connector, I think, and Facebook was a good one, but Twitter is now kind of like... Yeah, Twitter is that. so huge now, like even just listening to the radio. Watching shows on the internet. Every DJ is mentioning Twitter. Mm -hmm. Every interview. You're listening to WKCB Radio, brought to you by Twitter. It's and a lot, like most blogs and articles now that you find on the internet, they all have the follow me on Twitter buttons. What else can we learn about Twitter today? Seems now we're kind of on the Twitter thing. And we're not here to endorse stuff. We're just, this is what we're learning about, uh, about Twitter. Well, it's really, oh, it's it's really self-endorsement, really. I guess so. Because, right? like, especially if you have a blog. And getting to know people. Then it's a great you way, yeah. get to know yeah. me personally. Because otherwise you just have to hope, oh, I hope someone does a Google search and happens to find my blog. Mm. But through Twitter, you could just say, here's my new blog, it's about blah, blah, blah. And right. anyone who does a search for a keyword that'll bring it up or that topic matter will find it. And they'll, if it interests them, they'll click on your blog. It's just a great way for, to get exposure Very for cool. whatever it is that you do. Just developing friendships and getting yeah. to know people. I try to be kind of intimate with the viewers and, and with you um, because... I want you to feel like you're, you know, a part of something that's not just like I'm not just up here doing my my show up here in Canada, you know, in the cold. I do, you know, post the occasional personal comment. I post a lot about the show. Anything that's happening inside that people don't generally know about, I post it on Twitter. That's the only place I post it actually. So do follow myself on Twitter. That would be very cool if you don't mind. I'm still learning the system, but it's twitter.com/robbyferguson. And I, I do make an effort to follow you back. So I'll help get your followers up by adding one. And then I'll see your post. Very cool. 